all praise and honor glory to you, how we buy shimmy outside double honors to elder apostle great millstone salutation you i can teach all true sincerity um i'm trying to make this really quick um this is going to be called this brotherhood is all we got so i'm gonna read ecclesiasticus six and eight it says for, for some man is a friend or for his own occasion and will not abide in the day of trouble um all these friends that you used to have have left you because you're not really um, benefiting them no more. Um, your family members come around you just because you have something that that will benefit them. They don't come around you or call you like that if, if it's uh, something just to call. They don't do that. They only call when they need something. So that's the same way with the friends you used to have. But the brotherhood They'll, like, if you're in good communication with them, they don't call you to benefit them. They call you because they need to call you. They want to call you. Or they, or they call on you. Or they want to hang out with you because they want to hang out with you. They don't want to hang out with you because it benefits them. It spiritually benefits them, but not physically benefits them. You know, it's not, it's not all about carnal things. It's all about spiritual things with the brotherhood because... That's how it is, but and in the day of trouble, the brotherhood will have your back. They'll 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 die for you if they if they if they have to. They'll die for you if they have to. I'm gonna skip to verse ten. It says again, some friend is a companion at the table and will not continue the day of thy affliction. Because uh, a brother in my camp have said, you know, a friend in adversity when all hell is breaking loose. That's when you, that's a true friend. They stand by you when all hell breaks loose. That's a true friend. That's a friend that you need to keep around. But if you have a, if your friends leave you when you're broke and you ain't got nothing, that, that, that tells you that wasn't a true friend. They left you when you ain't had nothing. And when you got something, they all friendly back in, back in your good graces. But when you didn't have anything, they weren't there for you. Um, uh, read verse 11. It says, but in the, thy posterity, he will be as thyself and will be whole over thy servants. If thou be brought low, he will be against thee and will hide himself from thy face. So those friends that when you had nothing, when you were brought low, they don't have nothing to do with you now. Um, I'm skip to verse 14. A faithful friend is strong defense, and he that hath found such an oath, oh, such in one, found a treasure. Um, so a faithful friend is one that will be there when you you had nothing at all, and will. That's a faithful friend. Um. You know, and that's a treasure. I'm going to get to verse 16. A faithful friend is a medicine of life. And that, that they that fear Yahweh Bashim Yahushai shall find him. Uh, so fearing Yahweh Bashim Yahushai will actually direct your friendships aright. Um, whosoever fear Yahweh Bashim Yahushai shall direct his friendship aright. For as he is so... Shall his neighbor be also? So if you you and both your friends fear you, how about you how shy, and understand this truth, um, your friendship is gonna be directed the right way, um, and um, I got two more and that's it. I'm gonna end it. It's lucky. This is Matthew twelve. In 46, um, it says, while he yet talked to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood without desiring to speak with him. Then one said unto him, behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without desiring to speak with thee. But he answered and said unto him that told him, who is my mother? Who are my brethren? And he stretched forth his hand towards his disciples and said, behold, my brethren. And my mother, 
my mother and my brother. Because when you're under the banner of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai and you're serving Yahweh Bashim Yahshai in truth and sincerity and doing the, the works of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai out there on the highways and byway, you're considered a brother uh, in the truth. And, and, and you're considered a brother, you're considered family. Um, that you're in the same mind state. That, that's your friend. That's your friend. That's your brother. That's your family. You know, those are the those are like-minded family members that you that that are are going to be your friends in adversity when you have nothing. They're going to be by your side to build you back up and to keep you from falling. And they'll lay down their life for you. So as long as you is a brother. Um, and th that talks about in John 15 and 13 is my last scripture. It says, greater, greater love than no man than this, that a man laid down his life for his friends. And it says in um, Matthew, I believe Matthew, it says, uh, love love your neighbor um fear the most high and love your neighbor as yourself these things all like, hang on the law and the prophets so loving your neighbor as yourself your neighbor is your, of your nation that's not you ain't gonna suffer sin upon your neighbor you're gonna build your neighbor up you're gonna you know um you're gonna you're going to have great love and lay down your life for your brother you know, so I'm gonna say all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahusha, and also what you do also affects the body of Yahweh Shai. So always keep in mind that whatever you do affects the next brother. So always keep in mind to stay circumspect, even amongst the the Aki. Um, but anyway, also uh, I'm gonna say all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh. Bashim Yahusha, the honors to Elder Apostle, Great Millstone, and Salutation, I can teach all true sincerity and shalom.